What if there was a golf club that you could put in your golf bag today that would both help you off the tee in length and in accuracy? Right now, there's a golf club out there right now. It's a driver that they say will help you improve your accuracy off the tee box by 70% while also not crippling your ability to hit it far. I don't know. They, that's what they say. They say that you can hit this club just as far as your normal driver, but it's also incredibly more accurate. I, again, what are we even talking about today? We're talking about the Teton Hybrid Driver, and I have it right here. My uncle purchased this not too long ago. Um, again, it's the Teton Hybrid Driver. This is a 15 degree. I don't know if this is backwards for you or not, but it's a 15 degree of loft, and they say it is 70% more accurate than most drivers because the shaft is shorter and the head is smaller meaning the variability could be uh, a lot lower if you're consistent with your swing. I've been consistent with my swing over the last uh, three, four months. So uh, again, we're gonna put this to the test. So one advantage of hybrids just in general, and I'm not getting this from the website, is the fact that you can hit them pretty dang high and pretty dang well, even if you're in tougher grass. I know sometimes when I'm in thicker grass, I struggle to hit my long irons out of them. The club turns or, you know, I lose that swing speed when the, when the club hits the actual grass and that could really cause problems for me. So I do like to hit hybrids out of tub situations. They, they used to call it the rescue club for a reason. It can rescue you from tub scenarios where you have to come 200 yards over water and you don't really feel confident hitting your six or five iron over it because you're in thicker grass or maybe you have to hit a lower shot so you put it more in the back of your stance to go underneath trees but still get that big distance that 160 170 even though you're hitting it pretty low so again i love the hybrid i think you can also use it green side you can chip with it if again you're in thicker grass and you don't feel confident using your wedges out of the thicker grass and you don't really want to hit like a bump and run with a seven or eight hit a bump and run with the hybrid i think that the club is multi-purpose and a driver version of that might be incredible. I don't know. We're going to test it out today. Let's see what it looks like before we get out there onto the range. So again, we have a Teton grip. I don't know who makes this. It doesn't say who makes this, but this club's pretty brand new. My uncle's only hit it a couple times. Again, I'm not going to hit somebody's club that has never been hit because that is a curse. And uh, again, you can see all the markings on the shaft. We have, it says um, flex stiff mass 85 grams and torque 4.0. Again, a lot of those are words that I just don't understand. Uh, I know I do need a, a stiff shaft for my driver just because my swing speed is pretty quick now. Um, 85 grams, it feels balanced. I have taken a couple dry swings with it. It does feel balanced and torque 4.0. I'm not really sure what torque means on this thing, but the colors look pretty good. Um, I don't really like how it's convention, you know, how the, uh, the, I don't like how the driver is sectioned like this. I would rather this be blended like a white to gray, white to blue. That's how mine is on my TS2 driver. Um, but the club head again, looks pretty basic. It looks like a hybrid, honestly. I mean, this is, that's what they say it is. And that's what it is. Um, the top is not too bad either. It's gray and blue, and you can line up that blue part with the ball. And that's going to give you the tracking. Um, to try and hit that sweet spot off the club face. Um, but it definitely is a lot smaller than a typical driver and yet bigger than some of the other hybrids that I've seen. So, so far it's promised on what they say it is. Let's get out there, let's hit it. Again, 15 degrees of loft, designed, engineered in USA, made in China. And we'll see if this thing lives up to the test and if it's something you should add to your bag. But an easy way to add this to the bag is by a giveaway. And of course, if we hit 200 likes on this video, I will give away a Teton hybrid driver. One thing I'm really interested about this club is can it replace a three wood? I don't have a three wood right now. I have a really old one and I'm not a big fan of it. Um, so I'm looking to get a new one, but can this be a decent three wood alternative? Something where you're in the middle of the fairway and you have to hit it, you know, 220, 230, 240. Maybe you don't wanna hit the three wood for some reason, the grass is a little thicker. Can this be a fairway finder? Can you hit this driver off the deck and still get the effective results you're looking for? And again, 200 likes on this video and I will give away the Teton hybrid driver to somebody down below in the comment section. 
if you go ahead and type in whether or not you use hybrids. I know a lot of people swear by hybrids. Some people are more traditional. They don't really like hybrids, but again, it's pretty much all personal preference. I like them in certain situations as I talked about before, um, but let me know in the comments if you use hybrids, just say, yeah, I use them. What, which ones you use? I use the Cobra hybrid um, that I bought off my boss. And again, I will give away one of these clubs to somebody in the comment section if we get 200 likes on the video. All right, let's get into it. Let's get out on the range. Let's hit it a couple times and see how it feels. I'm gonna put it forward in my stance, backward in my stance, swing faster, harder, trying it a draw, trying it a slice. Just kind of see, just kind of play with it and see, you know, different ways that you can use this club out there on the golf course and if it's even a valuable option to add to your golf bag. So again, this, this uh, hybrid driver promises increased accuracy while maintaining the distance. So we'll compare the two. We'll compare this to both the hybrid and the actual driver. See if this one even compares to any of them. That was not that bad, but that just felt solid. Not in not in a good way, not like a flush solid, just like a kind of a clunk solid. That one was more flush solid. We'll try teeing it up a little bit lower. That one launched so far up. All right, so it seems the lower you tee, the higher it goes. So I'll try hitting it off the deck and see how high I can get this to go. Is this considered driver off the deck, even though it's a hybrid? a little over 200. Let's see if I can get it to go past 200 because otherwise it's not any different from my 3-4 hybrid. That shot right there is the high launch they're talking about. Hey, 
strike that. That was the launch. This club also currently retails for $200 USD brand new. Um, but you can find them on eBay for 170 180 So, again, that's a really good price compared to most brand new drivers out there. So, I, you know, for the money, I do feel like this is a good value to somebody who's just starting out or somebody who wants to be more consistent off the tee box. That was like 175, but honestly, I could have hit that one over Mount Rushmore. It went so high. drawing these beautifully I can't complain This is a comparison video in length of the clubs. You can see my drivers on the left and it is the longest club. This one falls right in the middle between my hybrid and my driver. So right now it's like I'm comparing it to a three wood, basically the length of a three wood. All right, so I thought I'd leave you guys with some final words, my final thoughts on what the Teton Hybrid Driver 15 degree club means to me as far as after an entire, you know, after an entire round of hitting at the golf range, um, I probably hit about maybe 40 balls, which I feel like is a good test, you know, to feel like if you are confident enough to hit that club well and what you wanna do going from there. Um, so will I add this to the bag? Probably not. But there is some good news. It's not entirely a gimmick. It's not entirely a desperate answer to somebody up at 2 a.m. searching for the way to fix their golf game like my uncle probably bought that club for. Um, but no, it's not a gimmick. It, it actually works. It's actually a hybrid. And I was able to hit it further than my regular 3-4 hybrid, Cobra hybrid, when I teed it up pretty high. I don't think it's gonna pass the uh, replacement of the three wood test. It, to me, it's not a good club off the deck. Um, and I'm not good enough to be able to make that call. If you are maybe a scratch golfer, maybe like a, a six handicap or an eight handicap, you might be able to consistently hit that off of the off the deck as a driver. But I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, I was just getting too many variable results. I was hitting the ground. The club's a little long to be able to do that. You know, I would never hit my driver in the middle of the fairway. Um, as my second shot or my third shot but so that's probably the reason why i wouldn't replace this you know i wouldn't replace my three wood with this teton hybrid driver but other than that i think it was a pretty good club if you're a little inconsistent off of the tee box it might help you get that tighter spread like they were saying tee it up like you know an inch above the club face and then just let her rip consistently get better try and close that spread up and you can drive it maybe 180 to 220 depending on where you come from you know and and certain three woods can do that and certain hybrids can do that but i feel like this gives you a lot more um consistency when you do tee it up that high and when you hit it off of the tee box so again not really a club that i'm going to add just because i got my brand new ts2 driver um but Take a look at it if you're looking into a new driver and maybe you're, you're getting into the sport of golf. It might be a viable option. Go hit a couple balls at you know Golf Galaxy or a, your local golf shop that may carry this club. Or even hit up a friend that might buy it or, or might be looking to buy it and add it to your bag. Again, I think there's very specific uses for this club. I thought it was going to be more versatile like most hybrids are. 
um, but it's probably not. You know, it's probably not a good option to hit in the middle of the fairway. But again, if this video gets 200 likes, I'll go ahead and give one away from you guys to somebody in the comment section that lets me know if you use hybrid clubs right now and which hybrid clubs do you use, if any. You might just say no, and that'd be fine. Maybe you don't use any hybrid clubs, but personally, I like them. I think that there are a lot of uses that you can use them, and I think that they're a good option. So I have one in my bag, um, and I don't know, think I'm going to be adding this one to my bag. But again, 200 likes, I'll help one of you guys add it to your bag. So with that in mind, if you're new to the channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you never miss an upload, a club review, fun challenge, you know, anything that we're doing amongst friends or family. So with that in mind, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Peace.